Greetings mathematicians. Today I've got a game for you to play and you're gonna need a couple of materials um, to play our game which is titled Comparing Fractions Game. Uh, the materials you need, you will need two different colored markers. Uh, for my markers I'm using Sharpies but you can go ahead and use any markers you have. If you don't have markers you can use crayons or colored pencils. We just need to have two different colors. All right. Next, you will need 10 of these. Doesn't really matter the size. If you have the jumbo ones, that's fine. If you have the small ones, that's fine. If you have a lot of these, uh, that's great. We only need 10, 10 index cards. The last thing you might need is a pair of scissors. I have a pair of scissors, but I didn't use them because I'm gonna show you a, a pretty cool trick. All right, so once we have those materials, you can play a game. Uh, if you don't have index cards, if, if you cut up small pieces of paper, you can get creative and do this, but I'm, I'm going to use these index cards, and let me move this out of the way, and put down the darker backdrop so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, I have my index cards. Now, what we want to do is, for all 10 index cards, is we want to cut them in half which can be a kind of, kind of a hard thing. So um, here's how I do it. I take them, I fold them over, so I have a line of symmetry. Match up my corners, I press down, and I have a pretty good line. Um, this is where your scissors come in handy. What I'm gonna do is I actually pinch my, my crease, and then I actually just do a very gentle and careful tear and I get two cards. So you want to take 10 cards and do this. So if you have 10 and you cut cut them in half, you're going to end up with how many? 20 total. All right. So what you want to do is you want to get your, your 10 index cards. You want to fold them in half and then cut or rip them into perfect little rectangles. And if you want to pause this right now so you can Cut up your, your cards, you can go for it. Ah, all right, next, I've got my, my cards. I'm gonna take 10 of the cards and I'm going to number them. One through 10. So I'm gonna take half the deck that we're creating. I'm going to have them using my black pen, one through 10. I'm gonna take the remaining 10 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm going to have two sets of ten with my little mini cards. All right, now is the tricky part. You need someone to play with. This could be an older sibling, it could be your grandma, it could be your mom or dad. You're going to decide who's going to be black, who's going to be red, or whichever colors you end up with. And just for the sake of this game, I'm going to start with black. I'm going to take my cards, I'm going to shuffle them, I'm going to mix them up. All right, I'm going to put them face down. And the second player would take their cards, and they would shuffle them and mix them up. And I'm going to put them face down. So I've got face down, face down. Player one will draw from the top. I've got a number, and I'm going to draw another card. I'm going to see which number is bigger. The bigger number is going to be my denominator. So I'm going to make a fraction, three over six. Player two will draw. Oh, I've got an eight. I think that might be my denominator. Uh, oh, hey, ten. Uh, it's numerator. Awesome. So now I have two fractions. I have three sixths and eight tenths. And we want to decide whose is bigger, which fraction is greater. And you can look back at yesterday's video if you want to determine less than or greater than. I'm going to use the shortcut. Three times ten is thirty. Six times eight is. 42, 
So that means this side is greater. So the fraction that's bigger wins and takes the cards. All right. And then it goes off to the side. And then we draw again. And eventually, one person's going to run out of cards. The, the player that ends up with all the cards is the winner. And the winner will have all of the cards. And then we can actually split it back up between red and black, find a new partner, and play again. But this is my comparing fractions game. All right. If you join me on Friday morning for our Zoom, you'll get to play it live with me. All right. Have fun. Enjoy. And don't forget to do 20 minutes of Prodigy.